Well, hi, my name is Kat Keeley. I am the photo coordinator here at Impact A9FM. And today we are meeting with Annika. Um, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, hi, <laughs> I'm Annika Rose and I write songs and I sing them and that's pretty much all I do. <laughs> yeah. Well, you seem, I've seen some of your like TikToks and stuff. Um, it seems like you have quite a story with your experience in the music industry so far. Um, would you like to share and talk about that a little bit? Sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, it's been a, <laughs> it's been a wild ride. I've, um, I've been doing it for now almost or over 10 years, which is funny just because I'm 19. So it feels a little strange saying that out loud, but um yeah I started a YouTube channel when I was eight and I was just singing some really horrible covers of songs in my bathtub and posting them and then I joined a band when I was 10 and kind of just played shows all over LA for two and a half years with the band and then through that um I met an a &R who worked for Sony in the UK and she was basically responsible for formulating a girl band and so she found uh my old band on youtube and the bass player and i got pulled out of that band and we signed to sony music and simon cowell when i was 13 and uh started doing sessions and like working with co-writers and doing all of that just being put through the machine a little bit and um it was great experience super fun um until it wasn't and then the girl band was dropped and that's Honestly, thank God for that. Um, but yeah, so that was from 13 to 15. And then I kind of just started writing for other artists because I, I didn't really know where my place was at that point. I was still, you know, obviously super young and I just come out of playing in bands for five years and um, kind of just wanted to like indulge in the other side of the, the creative process where, you know, people weren't coming in to help me write songs. I was kind of just applying myself to other rooms for other people. But I quickly realized that's not my thing. Don't want to do that. And, um, and so I signed a production deal and uh, that didn't go as planned. So I left that. Then I signed another record deal when I was 16, maybe I think. So yeah, I think I was 16. And then I put out my first EP and body of work with them. Um, and then halfway through COVID, I left that label. And since then, I've just been doing the independent thing, um, which has been a crazy wild experience. But um, yeah, it's been it's been a journey. <laughs> wow, that's that's a lot. That's that's really incredible, though. Um, did it, was your first EP was it uh, was it Ventura Boulevard? Was that it? Yeah. Would you? I, I ended up actually watching. It was, it was seemed like a like a documentary short film type. Oh uh, yeah. Uh -huh. I like that was really cool. Um, do you think you'll ever make one of those again someday? Like explaining the song? Totally. Yeah. Yeah. No, for sure. I mean, I feel like there's the the songs that I write. The stories behind them are so specific to my life that you know, giving that context verbally is 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 fun to do, and it's fun to tell the stories. And I am, um, and I would have been doing it for the last year, but you know, I haven't been able to put out a full body of work since then. So. Um, it's been not something I've been able to do, but now I'm working on new music and hopefully we'll be putting out a more cohesive body of work soon. So I would absolutely love to, to do that. And I also like, I'm documenting and filming a lot of the, the process during this like whole period of, of writing stuff that will hopefully come out soon. So there will be some like behind the scenes type of stuff happening. Well, that's exciting. I can't wait to see that. So, um, but also I just want to mention as well, I think wasn't there was a song on your, um, on that called I'm Better? Was that, was that? Mm -hmm. I, I absolutely love that song. Oh my goodness. I kept keep listening to it all the time now, but um, I just wanted to put that out there. Um, also, I saw some of your, uh, your of course, um, I saw some of your like earlier, like YouTube videos and saw that you oh god help me yeah i know you were on stage with uh was it Haley williams right the oh yeah lead singer of paramore yeah. how, how was that 
the craziest shit of my entire life. That was like my wildest dreams somehow coming true. Um, yeah, I went to a Paramore concert, my first Paramore concert when I was 12 and I did like heavy prep work, making a giant poster. Like I'm gonna get called out of 25,000 people and get called on stage with Paramore to sing Misery Business as if I even really believed that that was a true possibility. And then I got there and the security took my sign away. So I threw a shit fit and then somehow I still got chosen. I don't know if it was cause I just was dancing like an actual psychotic person. And she was just like, we need to get this girl out of the audience because she's being crazy. Um, I don't know how it happened, but it happened and it was pretty incredible and um, yeah, and I'm like such a big Paramore fan that when they did the Paramore cruise ship a couple years after that, I made my whole family fly to Miami to get on a cruise to go and hang in the middle of the ocean for three days with Paramore and a bunch of other bands. And they had like this thing called a karaoke contest. And um, and so I got to sing with them a couple more times on the, on the cruise because I entered in that and whatever else. Um, but yeah feels pretty crazy yeah that was I, I saw that I was really even like when you're little and you're on the uh, their concert you got up right on top of the speaker it looks like like you were just in it I, I was like this is my fucking moment right now I was like I am standing on that box and I'm gonna <laughs> sing my ass off and you did great the karaoke thing as well I, I saw that I thought wow like that's that's really cool um and also, so, well, are there, I'm sure, well, she probably inspires you. Is Are there any other artists or anyone in general that inspires you? Yeah, no, totally. I mean, I'm, I'm like heavily influenced by a lot of people for different reasons. I think Haley was definitely a driving force in, in my inspiration to be a good performer and writer. And same goes for Alanis Morissette. And I think Gwen Stefani, obviously, like, sonically and music wise but also just as like a performer um just like emulating that energy that they give on stage because as an audience member like it's so it's it's so good like you just feel it in every part of your body and I want I want to be that kind of person for an audience um so yeah I, I draw a lot of it I let draw a lot of inspiration from like 90s alternative bands and singer songwriters and then, of course, like Fleetwood Mac and Joni Mitchell and like all those just like classic, incredible storytellers. But yeah, that's cool. Um, well, not only are your songs just great, I've seen your music videos as well. And oh, my goodness, like I never know what to expect, like if it's like butterflies or fly to you or in the end um, and even like your style, like you just seem like, do you, where do you do you get inspired by other people's style? Like, I mean, fashion. Um, I, really I love fashion so much. I, if I wasn't doing music, I would want to do something in fashion. Um, and I, I think like hopefully down the line, that's something I'll be able to incorporate in everything I'm doing. But I don't know. It's just like all my like 90s girls, like my 90s alternative girls, like that's like my biggest fashion inspiration era. Um and yeah, I mean, I just, I love to thrift. I mean, I live in LA. It's like you walk down the street and you find five different thrift shops. So it's, it's fun to just like go venture out into those stores and find things that you can kind of imagine had a story of like somebody wearing in the seventies and it's, it's just fun. Yeah, that's cool. Um, as far as like, uh, like all the songs you've written so far, do you have a favorite one of yours? Um, that's a hard question. I feel like it changes. It's like when someone asks you what your favorite your favorite color is, but I um I have a song right now that's my favorite, but it's not out yet and I all, I like I I go live and I like want to leak this shit so bad. I want to play it for everyone. I'm like I'm telling you like the best one hasn't come yet, but I, I definitely have one that I am really loving right now and I'm just like aching to get out, but soon, very soon. Ooh, exclusive. <laughs> um, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> you seem to have this quiet journey in general with the music industry so far, as you've told us already. Um, what would you say is like the biggest difference um, for you, like today as who you are as an artist, like an independent artist versus 
years ago when you were like signed and everything or you know what I mean I think like, just, I think just like a, a greater sense of self and like a, a greater understanding of like who I am what I want to say why I want to say it and um and just having more like just like more descriptive real stories about things that you know a lot of teenagers go through and and yeah, I feel like that's honestly just the biggest thing that I've learned throughout all the little steps that I've I've gone through is just like knowing how to say no and why you're saying no and just like there being more intention behind the things that I do and understanding why I'm doing them a lot more. Um, and yeah, hopefully that that sense just gets greater and greater as as time goes on. But yeah, no, well, that's that's nice. That's good. Um, also, just so uh, you mentioned how I know you can't say anything about the song. Uh, you mentioned like one of your favorite songs is one that's not out yet, but is it going to be part of an album or like what kind of future projects can we be expecting from you? It's definitely like a, a, a body of work coming for sure. I know what it's called. I'm in like the final steps of, of getting the songs, the productions on the songs done um which has all been happening this last month it's like went from zero to 100 I was doing like nothing all day and now I'm like finishing these things it's it's a little bit hectic but everything is sounding really really cool and I'm so ready to just put things out again so yeah there's definitely a lot of music coming that's good well we're all ready too I know I am <laughs> so that's exciting um and just congratulations too on releasing Hypocrite I know that was a little while ago but um still I bet that's you know really fun to do if you were to have a future collaboration with any artists do you have any artists in mind mm. I feel like there's there's so many people I want to collaborate with but I think Justin Vernon Bernie Bear I'm like the biggest fan um and I think in, even if it's like not like a collaboration where our names are attached to each other on the single or whatever it would be like just working with him as like a creative person I think would be so inspiring I'm obsessed with the 1975 so if I could do anything with Maddie I would probably have a heart attack but um those are the first two that come to mind I would want to do something with Haley but I feel like as a human being I wouldn't be able to properly function around her so I'm kind of just like putting that one to the side for a second well, I mean, I mean, she seemed to be down with, you know, she was up there with you <laughs> singing and everything. The funniest thing is I've, I've met her a couple times after and I actually like I went to a publishing meeting and she was in the room next door and like, I like went up to her and she was like, Oh my god, like we sang together like you're so grown up like what's going on. She's like, you're doing it for real. And I'm like, uh, and I'm like with all these like business people around me who are like I was just in, like a serious meeting with them and I go and I actually can't speak I'm like quivering and shaking and I'm like yeah it was so weird it was wild I'm like how does this happen I thought she was in Nashville at the time and like turns out she's just in the room next door to me having her own meeting it's so weird surprise <laughs> no that was uh that's that's pretty cool though I mean I'm, I'm, I'm sure she'd be down for a collaboration. Sounds like you guys have had quite a relationship. <laughs> <over there. laughs> um, and so far, like with everything you've done, do you have like something that's been your greatest accomplishment so far or? I think honestly, just putting out music, it, it felt like such a, such a just major event that went down the first time I released music. And honestly, like, anytime I release music because it's like this like very sacred thing and it kind of feels like you're like for lack of a better term like birthing a child and it's like yours and all of a sudden like it exists in the world and and um develops its own life and so for me anytime I'm able to, to like put out stories and and hear people's responses and reactions to them it feels like the most rewarding thing ever Oh, that's, that's so like oh that's so humble and oh that's such a sweet answer but <laughs> it's great um and also so I know I kept bringing up your music videos and stuff but I am curious like how do you come up with the ideas for those like they all seem so like different and just visually just amazing 
Oh, thank you. Um, I don't know. I feel like because the stories of the songs are so personal, I can kind of imagine the situation playing out in like a visual form. Um, but yeah, I mean, obviously like I work in collaboration with a lot of really brilliant creative people who help bring my like very surface level bare bone boned ideas to life. But um, yeah, I always tend to go into the music video stuff with like an original treatment or kind of just some sort of like narrative or storyline that I envision. And then when I am introduced to new creative people whose actual profession it is to do the thing, um, then the, the idea just develops from there. But I definitely love to have like a, a pretty big role in, in creating the visual for stuff. Um, but it's really fun. Do you hope to like tour at some point or? Oh, hell yeah, of course. Yeah, for sure. That's like, I have, I mean, I've played in bands for five years. It's like the best part of the entire process is playing shows. Um, and I haven't, the last show I played was in August of 2018. So it's been almost three years, which is actually like brutally painful to think about, but I am like ecstatic to tour. And hopefully after this next body of work comes out, that's, that's in the books. You're on so many different platforms. Is where are places that your ARPs, your fans can follow you at? Um, just Anna Carrera's music, pretty much everywhere, and obviously on streaming platforms, it's just Anna Carrera's. And then, like, any last words or anything else besides that, or? No? Um, just look out for more music because it's coming, and I promise it's better than what's already out. So, very. Good.